This morning we are celebrating Black History Month with the Quilters of Jesus Bend, the women of a rural Alabama town preserving the tradition of their ancestors. They use materials like clothing and bed sheets to make quilts such as these. This is their story. Behind these colorful quilts, a patchwork of deep history, culture, and tradition. My mother taught us how to make quilts because uh, we had to keep warm. They wasn't just quilting for pleasure. It was a necessity. It was survival. This tightly woven rural community located on the Alabama River is called Boykin, or better known as G's Bend. Many of the residents can trace their lineage back to slavery and the Petway Plantation. Petway, a name still shared by many in the area. The majority of the Petways, their name was given to them. It was a slave name. Everybody had to go by the same name at that time. The treasured tradition of quilting passed on generation after generation. My mom and I used to quilt it together. I get one end and she get the other end and we sold on that quilt until we finished. Quilting was just a thing that we did in this area. The women faithfully weaving beautiful, intricate designs onto fabric for over 200 years. I look at the cloth, it tells me what kind of quilt I want to make. I believe each one tells a story. When you're doing a quilt, you pattern that quilt sometimes the way your life is. Sometimes it's, it's rough, sometimes it's colorful. It's not just quilting, it's a connection that you make with your quilt. The quilts have become celebrated and recognized as art, part of exclusive exhibits at museums across the country. It's important to the community to just know that uh, we are making art because we didn't think it was art. For decades, tourists and quilt enthusiasts have been flocking to this remote peninsula to purchase a piece of history. But with the pandemic settling into Alabama, all travel and tourism came to a halt, closing local shops and stopping sales. They slowed down a lot because we stayed closed a long, long time. Stepping in to help, nonprofit organizations, Nest and Souls Grown Deep, partnering with Etsy, providing a marketplace for the women to sell their quilts online for the very first time. It mean a lot to me in uh, this community. This helping me and my family a great deal. This is unbelievable. I never thought in a million years this could happen to me. I've been quilting ever since I was a child. G's bend rich culture and history, spreading across the world, one quilt at a time. It make me feel like I just want to keep on quilting. <laughs> There ain't no stopping no time soon. I'm going to continue as long as I can. Oh, please don't stop. Oh, my goodness, I love their story. The quilts can start at $100. Etsy has a specific section of their page to purchase directly from the G's Bend quilters. And while the quilts have been celebrated for years, this is the very first time that they're able to reach such a mass audience, which will hopefully give these women the recognition they deserve. So talented. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.